Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. A couple of months ago, I received the Lip X Kit from Dr. V, and I've been using it diligently for three months. As promised, today's video is going to be a quick update for you. I want to make sure that this video is really short. Um, to give you guys a little bit of update on how they're working, how they're going, and some of the questions that you guys were asking in that previous video. If that sounds like something you're interested, then without further ado, let's get started. Now in this video, I won't be explaining too much about the products because I really did go in depth in the previous one. So if you haven't already seen it, pause the video, click the link above and then come back. As a reminder, here are our three products. So starting in chronological order, let's start with the lip scrub. So the lip scrub, once again, is a sugar scrub. And this sugar scrub is supposed to exfoliate your lips and really help you sloth off the top layer. Now that it's getting into the winter months, this is honestly coming really clutch because my lips tend to get dry in the winter. However, I've never seen my lips crack before. I just want you guys to see how stripped my lips look. Like, I have never had that type of peeling on my lips ever in my life. So I don't know if like exfoliating so much is making it shed when I use it, it's fine and it goes away, but if I don't, it looks like this. I've never had any of that cracking before. Okay, so here we are. Lips are looking nice and plump. Prior to using this kit, I never really paid that much attention to my lips, to be honest. Um, maybe a lip scrub here and there, a lip mask whenever I remember, but I think the act of using this kit so much really made my lips dry out in a way. Yeah, I found that my lips were getting very dry really quickly. And that was a weird thing for me. Now, like I said, it is the winter, so your lips tend to get dry in the winter, but I'm not really going outside at all. That's one thing to point out. You may see that your lips may get a little bit more dry and a little bit more parched. Um, just make sure to add in a good lip balm and a good SPF on top. There is like a coating that's left on your lips, and I typically rub that off with a rag just to make sure that when I go in with the mask, there's nothing, there's no barrier between the mask and my lips. Now, because this product does have a lot of like tyrosinase inhibitors and lightening ingredients in it, you want to make sure that you're using it on your lips for at least a minute so you can get the most out of these ingredients and they can actually penetrate your skin. Okay, let's go on to the lip mask. The lip mask, I would say, has to be my favorite product, to be honest, out of this entire line, just because... I think that with the mask, that is when you're really gonna get the treatment to work. It's the mask that's really gonna penetrate the skin. Of course, like getting off the dry skin is important and it's important to moisturize, but I feel like it is the mask that is gonna do the most from this kit. Um, it has a really gooey texture like I showed you guys before and you honestly don't need a lot of it I think in the demo video I ended up using quite a bit, but you don't actually you just need a bead on your finger Put that on leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes I typically do 30 minutes the best way to remember to do it is to just incorporate it into your regular routine So I would actually use this when I go in the shower. So I would put it on I'd scrub put it on, go in the shower, do my hair routine, my body routine, and then rinse it off because I actually wash my face in the shower. And I found that was really easy to incorporate this and get that 30 minutes out of the way without having to go back into the bathroom. It's not about how much you use when it comes to products like this. It's about how often you're using it. So I did end up using it three times a week. Last but not least, we have the lip balm. Now the lip balm itself is like a shea butter blend. And I don't know about you, but personally, I don't find shea butter is like really a it's not really thick. It's one of those thinner butters I found. I've used it before on my lips and I got the same experience with that. So it's not going to be like this thick Vaseline thing on your lips. It's more like a serum. So I found within the first couple of days when I left this on my lips, it felt really, um, it felt really good when you initially put it on. But after a couple of hours, um, and overnight, of course, when you wake up in the morning, your lips are not that plush because Shea butter isn't really built like that in my personal opinion. Um, so I would always end up having to do something a little bit extra. So what I decided to do instead is, once again, I use this two hours before I go to bed. That's how I like to use my skincare, my evening routine, at least two hours before doing anything. 
Um, so I would leave it on for the two hours and then before I go to bed I put on a thicker lip mask and the one that I actually have is this one from Blistex this is the lip medex perfect for the winter because you want to prevent anything from getting on your lips and this is what I do normally at night it's a lot thicker it's almost like a Vaseline consistency and I really do enjoy that also if you do have cracked lips in the winter this is bomb because it really does help to medicate your lips to have good health <laughs> why did that sound so weird <laughs> I don't remember if I mentioned in the video, but in the morning I did end up using an SPF. This is the Blistex 15 SPF Mint Lip Balm. Um, I would actually recommend using something with a higher SPF if you're gonna be outside. Granted, we are mostly inside, and if we are outside, we have masks on, so for right now it's not too big of an issue. But I would say going into you know the year when we're hopefully not wearing masks on our face, you may want to bump it up. Dr. V actually did post a lip balm that she actually recommends that I think was about 50 SPF. So I'll link that down below as well. Um, but yeah, this is this is totally fine if you're gonna be spending most of the day indoors. If you're going outside, not wearing a mask in the future, <laughs> you may need to bump it up a little bit, especially if it's in the summertime. So now onto how long this kit actually lasts. Um, this kit costs about around 95 euros. I don't really remember off the top of my head, but it ended up being like 120 or something in Canadian dollars. So a big concern, a lot of things that I heard in the comments were, you know, how long does it last? Like, is it really gonna last you for that long? Cause it is quite steep for a lip kit, but this is a medicated lip kit. This is not just, you know, a moisture kit. This is something that is actually a treatment. Now, to be clear, I did not purchase this. This was gifted to me. But as someone who has deeply melanated skin and pigmentation around my lips, who is looking for a treatment to help with that, it is definitely something I would consider purchasing. Even more so if I was in a position where I couldn't see a dermatologist or there wasn't any dermatologist around me that has a background in treating melanated skin. Going into how much I've used, so over the past three months, first starting off with the scrub, there is actually quite a lot left. A lot of the product is still on the sides, so I'd say maybe about halfway done the scrub. Now I have used this lip balm every single day for the past three months, and I'm nowhere near being done. Like I said, all of the product is like mostly on the sides, so if I were to melt it down and like level it off, it'd be about halfway as well. And for this one right here, like that's a lot of product that's still left. So it honestly does last quite a long time. You do not need a lot of this for it to work. Zooming in, I do have a little bit of lip balm on, but this is what we are looking like. Compared to what it looked like before, I'd say here has lightened up quite a bit, and even this area has also lightened up. So that is my update for you guys. I will also be posting an update at six months to show what it looks like then. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I loved making it. Comment down below and tell me have you tried the lip kit and what are your thoughts on these lip pigmentation kits at home. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Click over here to see some of my previous videos. Remember to stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I will see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video.